Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. So today we are going to make some really cute epoxy trauma shears. Right, so I'm doing these on trauma shears. You can do these on scissors for back to school. I love these on trauma shears. And the thing about it is putting the epoxy on these actually makes the handles much more comfortable. So if you've ever had to cut clothes off of somebody with trauma shears, these plastic handles dig into your fingers and putting the epoxy on it actually gives it a more rounded edge. So not only does it look pretty and it is a fun gift or, you know, something fun even to sell. it actually makes them much more comfortable too. But these turned out super cute. Now I left them black because I wanted to do this really pretty blue color on them. Of course, you know, you could paint your ends of your trauma shears and do them in whatever color that you want. We'll do some more colors because I have a few pairs I have to make. But these turned out so cute. So if you want to see how I did it, then stay tuned, quick and easy. Thanks guys. All right, so we are gonna start with our scissors. Now I buy these in packs and they come with like plastic over them. I like to leave the plastic over the metal part of it and then I still also tape around it. So I put it to where the point is in the plastic and open it up. So I want to open it up wide, that way I can get to the entire portion of it and make sure that the handle part is sort of hanging down over your, your turner piece. And then, so I put them on each side. Technically I could do four. I really like to do two. I feel like the balance is a little bit better that way. And then, so I'll put one pair on, wrap my tape around, and put the other pair on and then I go through and tape them really good and then I'm going to go through and take pieces of tape and then you know tape over any silver part that I don't want to get epoxy on and then make sure they're secure and then put it on the turner and then when I mix my epoxy so this is my two-part epoxy a and b and normally when I'm doing glitter in epoxy I do half as much glitter as epoxy. When I'm doing these, I like to do about three quarters as much glitter as epoxy because I like this to be a little bit thicker. On these, I like to only do one coat of epoxy. And then I'm gonna go through with my finger and just coat them. And really like this first round I was just sort of putting it on because I was um, paying attention to something else but and then when someone stopped talking then I you know went on how I normally do so I normally like to stick with one um, side of the scissor and get that completely done and then move to another and I just sort of follow it around and you know make sure that you get all of your plastic covered make sure that you get the inside really good also and the nice thing with this is once the epoxy hardens like putting epoxy on these kind of gives more of a rounded edge to your cheaper trauma shears and makes them more comfortable to use so not only are these super cute they're comfortable to use. Now these are black and I left them black because of the color of glitter that I was putting on. But when I want them different colors, I just tape it up and then spray paint them. No big deal. 
I'll spray paint them white or pink or like whatever, usually white and then I just put whatever color over it. But sometimes I do the color of the glitter, whatever you want to do. However, you don't have to leave them black. So make sure that everything is covered. And if you have anything that looks like it's sort of lumping up after they've been spinning for a few minutes, just take your heat gun and sort of, you know, go over them. And even with this thick glitter, like these, uh, I don't know, maybe because of the plastic or whatever, but it always lays well. I never have to sand them and do a second coat. I say that, knock on wood, but as of yet, I've not had any pairs that I've had to sand and do a second coat on these. And these are so cute. They're a fun gift. They're fun for yourself. I get so many compliments on all my different colors of trauma shears. I make shears to match whatever different pair of shoes. And, you know, I make these for friends, but you could sell these easily. And they're such a cute gift, easy to make, you know, one time around on the tumbler. So by the morning time, I'll shoot the beginning of this video to show you. This is them after they've been spinning for a little bit. You can see they look really good. And now it's morning time, they're done. And I'm just gonna, you know, pull it off. Sorry, early in the morning and it's not all in, um, it's not all in frame, but you can see like they're all done. And now I'm just gonna take all the tape off, take the tape off the edges, which is my favorite part, taking the tape off of stuff, I love it. Anyways, and then you can see like these were really quick, about, you know, maybe 10 minutes of work, and then they just spun overnight and they're done. And these turned out so cute. All right, listen friends, I hope that you like it. I hope it was helpful. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. And listen, I am trying really hard to keep up with videos. And like I always say, but haven't yet done it, I'm really working to be better. I do have plans to be better. And just so much going on in my life right now. And, um, you know, Scott and I just got divorced on top of being in school and work and it's just a lot, but we'll talk about that later. All right, listen, I hope you guys have a blessed and beautiful day, friends, and I'll see you later. Bye.